welcome back to the channel. As ever, you can find me over on Instagram at the House of Langford and at Overall Sews. I'm also on Ravelry at Mad X Stitcher. And if you're new here, then hi, welcome to the House of Langford channel. This video is all about EAYF, so we're showing you a quick look at the raffle table. So this is all prizes donated by the vendors. This is during the Big Stitch Night, which is the Friday just before the opening of EAYF. It's a perfect opportunity to mingle with the vendors, speak with friends, sit and eat good food and drink, and just sit and knit and crochet all night, whilst also raising money for charity. There is also a first look at the merch stand, which includes the brand new yarn of Folk, which is a brand new East Anglia-based yarn where all of the wool is sourced from East Anglia, and it's very, very squishy. I also couldn't resist getting a photo of Martin from Knit365, so do check out his YouTube channel, and Norma the Norfolk Horn. We have Mystery Minis. Come on, rip it open. I'm trying. <laughs> Where you got? Where you got? <gasps> That's really pretty. Isn't it? It's, it's a fiber box. Oh, it's love. Yeah. That's really nice. I love that. Yeah. And my number. Uh, and you got your. Uh, so these are my three. Swap it over. Right. Red one first. Yeah. Now I see what you mean. You can't rip it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of solid paper. Have you finished with your food too? Yeah, I'm not I'm really bad at picking it stuff. Oh, oh there's what? goodies in here. What you got? <gasps> it's sparkling! Ooh, pretty cool. That's curated yarn company, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, bingo. And what what was your other bingo? You got? you got a thing. I knit so I don't kill people. Accurate. <laughs> yep. That's mine. That was. It has ice in it. Oh, it had ice in it. <laughs> Number two. Oh, there we go. Wasn't focusing. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, we've got another badge. Oh, look at you and your badges. Yeah. Oh, look at the yarn, though. That's another, another curated yarn company. But that colour, though. Blue. That's oh, stunning. Oh, look at the colours in the middle, though. Love that. Yeah. And then this one says, so many yarns, oh, so really little yeah. time. That's okay. Cool. One more. Last and then it's Ali's And then we'll do Ali's. <laughs> <laughs> We're having to rush this because we, they're going to be drawn it's any imminent. seconds. And we got oh. too busy. Oh. Oh. That's really, that's like raspberries. It's the raspberry ripple almost, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it is five of four. Love it. So those are my three. So and Alan, then, Alan, Alan, you put your knitting down. Big crochet down. Big crochet down. Come on. <laughs> mess, mess with the focus. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You have to just tear. I don't know what sellotape tape for is used. It's like the best oh. sellotape tape ever. Oh. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? <gasps> Ooh. That's nice. Oh, and you got a fiber, fiber box fault. as well. Ah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, mm. I got a That's pretty. And the winning lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> Ali wins everything. Else. Don't you, Ali? I'm trying. <laughs> we made it to EOYF. <laughs> but yeah. there's a huge queue, so we're going to eat breakfast. It's yeah. a good plan. And eat then, coffee first. Well, we could join the queue and then eat breakfast in the queue. But eat then there's too many hands. Yeah, I was going to say, eat, eat okay. and then drink in the tequila. Okay, I'm going to open think. my window then. Yeah, that's fine. We get some air. And then we're going! Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> the queue did not go down at all and I don't know how much you're going to hear of this because it's a little bit noisy because there's so many people here but it is amazing. Keisha's just gone off to her workshop with Sophie so I'm going to do some solo shopping and try and stick to my budget which is not always easy in places like this but there is so much here. It is 
huge. So we have the same amount of space as we did last year, but the kitchen is moved, so there's more room for seating. And you can see podcast meet up here at two o'clock, so I will be coming back. And I'm going to help out Martin of Knit365 Knit um, to sort of host the Crafty Corner, which is all of these chairs so we can just sit and relax. I have bought a deluxe ticket for today. So I have my bag. It's got a hessian sort of jute edge to it with this year's print. I did buy the big bag and the other bag at the Big Stitch Night last night. So, but I wanted to have a quick look and show you what's inside because I almost squealed when I opened the bag because we have another show guide which is great because I always like more. There it is. Folk yarn. Not usually my colour but you know I could get another skein to go with it. Yeah, Ali made the shawl that I um, videoed last night as well, which is interlocking crochet. I've not done interlocking before, so yeah, it's really exciting. So I might have a go at that. So I have a skein of that. It is fingering weight, so it's 400 meters, um, which is a four ply. 60% Romney, 20% BFL, and 20% Suffolk. It's 100 grams. And this is called Roxham. So, got myself some folk. So I need to go and squish all the folk at all the stands so that I can get my badges. So I might do that now actually, whilst um, it's a bit quieter. We have a pom-pom. So I think this is gonna be a hat. This is from the Crafty Bird. It's so fluffy. And what else do we have? I haven't actually looked, oh my God, there's more. There is more in this bag. That sounds like Stitch Marcus. I'm not going to open it up because I'm going to lose them all otherwise. There is a mini from Castle View Yarns. And it says, look to the east. So, that's really pretty. There is... I bought one of these last night as well, but I love it. This is from the little grey girl. So it's a little tag to put on your projects. And I have so much stuff from EAYF from the last two years and this year that I need more than one tag so I think that's everything in here I will double check because the book is in here as well but yeah that's my goodie bag and I love it I'm so happy I bought the deluxe ticket for today so yeah I'm gonna go and do all my squishy stuff get all my badges and then get the big badge so I can put them on my lanyard because I got my podcast the lanyard I might need to find a pen though and write my handle on the back. So, yeah. But I've been sat here talking for a little while. I'm going to go around and squish some yarn. Now, I'm going to wait until it's like lunchtime ish when it's quiet and quietened down a bit so that I can do some videos and pictures of the stalls because that way I don't have to worry about people getting in the way or me getting in people's way. Or videoing people that don't want to be in videos you get it so yeah I've already bumped into Ali of Little Drops of Wonderful and her husband Dan so it's very good to them already this morning and um, we kind of got in at the same time and I've seen Sophie she's now teaching and we've also seen um, Craft House Magic as well we spotted them earlier in the queue so I'm gonna see who else has a purple lanyard my aim for this weekend is to speak to other podcasters because I don't do it often enough. And I was saying earlier that I feel like I have imposter syndrome sometimes because I am a small channel compared to everyone else that I meet. But it's just exciting and I'm looking forward to yeah, to growing and seeing what meeting more people. So time to go squish some yarn. We had a podcast meet up. I have Sophie who's eating. <laughs> It's brownie though, it's allowed. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got well, has it got in punch? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sugar high. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's quite a few more bots. Yes. See? There's a lot more of us. Um, yeah, everyone's just caught going around now saying, Who are you? Where'd you come from? What's your, what's your podcast name? <laughs> so we're going to sit, knit, crochet, chat for a little while. Don't know how long yet. And then. 
Yeah. Go back to shopping. Everybody's knitting, crocheting, or chatting. There's Norma. And then we have some felt too. And I'm just eating lunch. <laughs> Martin's on restock, Jimmy. Stop, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, I love the rainbows. That is like the best red ever, and that does not photograph well at all. No. It's definitely more blood red, isn't it, in real life? Yeah. Well, more like a rose. It's like a really deep rose.
it's the end of East Anglia Yarn Festival. My earrings are getting caught in my shawl. Um, it's been a weekend. <laughs> I'm in the car, I've got the engine running because it's cold. But I'm parked, I'm not moving anywhere yet. And yeah, they're all packing down. So I'm going to head home. And I've just realised, you probably don't need to know this, but... I don't think I've been to the loo today, so I may have to make a pit stop on my way home and find a services on the, I don't know if there is one on the M11, there isn't one on the M25 because the M25 one is my local one, so yeah, <laughs> I mean I could run back in and go to the toilet now but that feels a bit weird, so <laughs> I'm going to head home um, and hopefully I'll do a little video tomorrow, I think, after I get home from work of everything that I've bought. I've got some photos of yesterday's and Friday's mini haul from the Big Stitch night. So I'll add those in at some point as well. But I will go through everything properly in its own little little haul. So which will pop up at the end of this video, hopefully. Anyway, I am heading home. I'm actually wearing because I didn't show you these on Friday or Saturday. These are earrings made by P, who is, I think it's Magpie Fragments. And they are resin, and they are actually called Maddie. So they are based on the Granny Square dress that I wore last year to EAYF, and I wore again this year. And the fact that I wear all the rainbows. So yeah they are a little bit of me and i love them so thank you p um i hope everyone has enjoyed seeing the show i try to get as much footage as possible and some photos basically any stall that i was passing that very briefly didn't have anyone at i went in and got some video um because i didn't want to get in anybody's way um whilst they were shopping so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed seeing this year's EAYF there were 85 stalls I believe and there was some different stalls as well compared to last year which is good so it gives you a bit of a range and the layout of the actual venue because they've had some additions made I'll probably link to um I think Martin and Laura spoke about this over on Knit365 so I'll link to their video so you can um talk about they talk about all the different additions that have been made to the venue as well as talking about the new yarn which is called folk or folks um yeah it's like basically talking to your friends it's called folk f-o-l-k and i got some in my goodie bag for yesterday so i'll share that with you as well but i'm heading home and i'll speak to you all soon <laughs>